Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and I'm finally getting around to doing part two of the AGC um, video hack on your Canon T2i 7D 550D kind of camera. The reason it took me so long is I was on vacation with my family visiting some friends out in Uray, Colorado, which is just a gorgeous place, and um, took tons of pictures, hundreds of pictures, tons of video clips, and I'm really starting to get um, good at using just one device, the Canon T2i, for both video and stills. Um, I'm starting to get comfortable and I'm pretty much leaving my camcorder at home. Back to um, disabling the AGC. So if you haven't already, go back to my first part one of the video and it shows a demonstration of both the AGC enabled and disabled so you get an idea of exactly what this hack does. To create this adapter you're going to need two eighth inch jack connectors and one eighth inch stereo plug. I'll put the links to the Radio Shack products on my blog post. All total it's about eight dollars in connectors. I had uh, some old West Penn uh, two conductor 22 gauge stranded shield cable lying around that I use for audio cable. You don't need something as professional as the West Penn wire um, that I have, but you're gonna find that what we're doing with this connector is unbalancing the uh, Rode microphone. So you don't wanna extend it more than let's say 20 feet, because if you do, you're gonna introduce some um, electrical magnetic interference. So let's say you're running your remote cable along some AC or maybe you have a cell phone or something like that it's going to pick up a lot of noise and I've I use a 10 foot cable that I actually bought from Rode Microphone um, I purchased a cheaper one you can actually see this in a previous video did not work very well but I've gone over 10 feet with this and this adapter and it works fine so strip back the wire and solder the red wire to the tip and the black wire to the ring and the shield to the sleeve. On the connector that will plug into your Canon camera, connect the red wire from the microphone, in this case the video mic, to the tip of the 8th inch plug and the red wire from your MP3 player to the ring of the 8th inch plug. You can clip off the black wire for each then solder both the shields and the sleeve to the eighth inch plug. You might think you can go to Radio Shack and buy one of these Y adapter type um, connectors. Um, don't waste your money, it doesn't work because the shield does not flow through the, um, that type of Y connector. Then connect your video mic and your MP3 player and then connect the adapter to the, your T2i 550 7D camera. You need to accurately set the MP3 level. The reason is if you set it too low, you're not going to fully squash the AGC. And if you set it too high, you're going to get a crossover bleed into the, the other channel, which is your good channel. You don't want to hear the 19 kilohertz tone. You won't actually hear it because, you know, I haven't heard probably anything above 16,000 hertz since I was a teenager, but um, you can hear some of these subharmonics of the... Um, the 19 kilohertz tone, especially in that little tiny speaker that you have on the back of the Canon T2i. Give it a try if you know how to solder it up. If you don't, um, I'll keep looking around to see if anybody sells this type of an adapter. I'm pretty sure Radio Shack doesn't. I haven't given them a call. Um, and again, they don't publish any sort of wire diagrams on the back of their um, devices that they sell, so it's kind of discouraging. But if I find something or anybody else knows, let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.